guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day in today's video i'm doing this quick get ready with me for a party that i'm attending i wanted to keep my look really really simple i'm just wearing a black sari um, and i just wanted to do a bold lip my hair as always is in a bun um, and i thought i would just get ready with you guys on camera this is going to be a voiceover because i was listening to music but i just kind of wanted to sit down and do my makeup and record it for you guys this is a very kind of like realistic get ready with me what I would do if I wasn't filming and I was just attending an event and I wanted to like look elegant. This is kind of like my go-to look like the makeup itself and then I'll just switch up the lip shade uh, depending on what I'm wearing. But this is basically my quick get ready with me. My hair is so simple as always. Um, if you guys want to know how I created this look then please keep on watching and let's jump right into the video. As always I'm starting off with the Mario Badescu facial spray just to add some hydration into my skin and after that I'm going in with the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer for under makeup because it doesn't make my face look oily or cakey. It's just like the perfect moisturizer. After after that I'm going in with the elf prep and hydrate balm just to further hydrate my skin especially in the winter because my skin tends to get dry so I love using this as well um, and after that I'm gonna be moving on to my lips and I'm using the Laneige lip sleeping mask to hydrate my lips um, and I am gonna be applying a liquid lipstick so this really really helps hydrate my lips and uh, then I'm going in with this elf um, Primer. This is really really good because it fills in all of my pores and just leaves such a nice flawless base to apply foundation on. And here I'm going in with the Lancome Taunt Idole Camouflage Concealer just to cover up any spots that I have as well as to conceal my under eyes or sorry just cancel out the darkness under my eyes. Um, and this does a beautiful job at doing that. It's one of my go-to uh, color correctors. And for my foundation today, I'm using the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation in 3W1 and I'm mixing it with the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir Foundation. I love this concoction because it's not too mattifying. It's It just hydrates my skin without looking cakey because I do not like a cakey, like you know, when you've applied too much foundation on, I don't like that look. So I love uh, mixing these two together and I'm just using a Real Techniques buffing brush to apply that. and. I am going in with a beauty blender just to further blend out the foundation and also get rid of any um, kind of like foundation or sorry any streaks that uh, brushes tend to leave sometimes um, and for concealer I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way multi use sculpting concealer in natural beige just drawing triangles under my eyes using the brush and also highlighting my chin uh, my forehead the center of my forehead and I'm just going in with a beauty blender to blend all of that out. Moving on to powder, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC30 and I'm just using a e.l.f. Um, highlighter brush to apply that just in the usual areas under my eyes around my mouth. And now I'm just setting all of that in place going back in with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray and then I like going over it with a beauty blender just to blend everything out and not to leave like a powdery finish on the skin. And here I'm using the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. It's one of my favorites and I'm just using it as an eyeshadow um, kind of like a contour for the creases and this just does a really nice job um, and that's really all I'm doing for my eyes actually and uh, here I'm going in with the MAC gel liner in black track and I'm just using an angled brush because y'all know I suck at doing eyeliner so this is a really easy way to do a wing liner is to use an angled brush uh, so I just did all of that off camera because it literally took me forever um, and I'm just going in and um, curling my lashes and also going over it with some mascara and here I'm using the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. It's one of my favorites. I love this thing.
and here I just went back into the hula bronzer just to bronze up my skin and also do a light contour um, and I just use a big eco tools fluffy brush because I do not like a harsh contour so this just does a beautiful job of kind of bronzing up my skin without making it look too crazy And now I'm going in with the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush in Beige for Days. It's one of my favorite neutral uh, blushes, especially when I'm doing a bold lip. This looks really, really pretty. And now for my highlighter, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Golden Flower Crown. And I'm highlighting just the usual areas, my cheekbones, uh, the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow. And I'm also using the same highlighter for my inner corner just to bring some light and brightness to my eyes. Now for the grand finale, I'm using this Sephora uh, lip stain. It's the cream lip stain in the shade Strawberry Kissed. It is my go-to red. It's that perfect strawberry red and I think this color complements my skin so well. So so anytime you guys ask me what red I'm wearing, whether it's on Instagram or on YouTube, this is most likely the color I'm wearing on my lips because I just absolutely love it. And that basically, you guys, is the finished look and I love the way it turned out. And that's it you guys, this is the finished look, super simple and easy to do, although this wing liner took me forever to do, I'm not gonna lie. I hate doing wing liner, but I've really been loving it recently, so that's why I decided to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below if there's any other video you guys want me to fi uh, film, and I will catch you all next time. Thank you so much for watching you guys, and bye!